Hi everyone, my name is Frankie, and welcome to a Movie A Day Challenge. Today is day number 231, and it's August 19th, 2018. Today I'll be watching the 1977 Italian foreign film, Suspiria. Now, in each episode of a Movie A Day Challenge, I pick one film that I've never seen before. And then I take that movie's movie poster and place it to the side of me. I do this because, well, I absolutely have no idea of what the film that I'm about to watch is about. And being that I have absolutely no clue about the film, or what it's about, I feel like I need to draw some type of conclusion of what I think the film may be about, based solely on the movie poster itself. In saying this, let's go ahead and take a look at the 1977 Italian foreign film movie poster to Suspiria. Now, before I go ahead and start analyzing the movie poster, you are not wrong. Yesterday, I announced that I was going to watch for today's episode, La Ventura, the 1960 Italian foreign film, meaning the adventure. However, La Ventura is nearly two hours plus long, close to two hours and 30 minutes. However, I don't really feel like sitting down and watching a two and a half hour film and basically coming back and reviewing it. So, mind you, I picked another Italian foreign film in its place. But this type is a horror genre film. This is the 1977 Dario Argento's Suspiria. It's a very famous and well-known foreign movie. However, it's also very famous in the horror movie genre. However, it's a movie I've never seen before. So, upon looking at this movie poster, we see what looks like a trail of blood and a woman dancing within it. You got the Suspiria title on the knee, and Dario Argento's name on the side of the woman dancing. It's a very interesting movie poster, and I'm very much looking forward to sitting down and finally enjoying the 1977 Italian foreign film, Suspiria. Now, after I finish analyzing the movie poster itself, I then let you, the viewer, know that I'm going to go ahead and watch the 1977 Italian foreign film, Suspiria. But before I go and do that, I want to let you, the viewer, know that after I finish watching Suspiria, I then come back and tell you a little bit about the film. However, I don't go in great detail about the movie. You see, I don't tell you any major spoilers about the film, nor do I tell you anything about the plot of the film either. The reason why I don't do either of the two is because I don't want to ruin your chance at watching a really great film for the first time. And just like myself watching Suspiria for the first time, I wouldn't want anyone telling me any major spoilers about the film or anything about the plot of the film either. Now, if it's the case that you have previously seen the 1977 Italian foreign film Suspiria before, please substitute this film for another movie you have never seen before. It doesn't even have to be in the genre of foreign movies. This way you can enjoy a film for the first time, just like I'm about to with Suspiria. In saying this, I'm going to go ahead right now and watch the 1977 Italian foreign film, Suspiria, and then I'm going to come back and tell you a little bit about the film. I'll be right back. I just finished the 1977 Italian foreign film, Suspiria, and I want to let you, the viewer, know that Suspiria is a weird film. A good film, but a weird film. Now, I'm going to be honest, the good parts of this movie basically deal with the horror parts of the film and the way it was filmed regarding how people die in the movie. But not going to give out any spoilers. Uh, it's a weird film. There's a lot of psycho subcontext, weird analogies, and situations that arise in this film that basically put me off a little bit and made me feel like, okay, it's a little odd. The constant background music and the sayings that you really could not make out what was going on in the background made me feel a little weird. A little sometimes uh, odd, but um, made me feel weird. And uh, to be quite honest, the film in itself is good, as I said. Story, it's so-and-so, you know, can't complain about the story. But um, it's all about the horror and the way the, the suspenseful stuff happens in this film. I really didn't understand the ending, and I'm not talking about the overall climax of the film. I'm talking about the last, like, two minutes of the movie. But, um, yeah. Crazy film. 
I'm very glad I got to watch it, though. I'm very happy with Suspiria, and I'm happy I got to enjoy it for a movie day challenge. Would I recommend it to a family member or friend? Yes and no. No to the average person that I know very closely with that doesn't really appreciate horror or this type of genre of horror this film is. And yes to the people who actually can appreciate this film. Would I watch it again? Yes. I would watch this period again. Most likely down the line. I don't think this October, but maybe next year or the year after. Now, if you like today's episode, you see that thumbs up underneath this video? Click it. Give us a like for today's episode. As you're doing that, maybe you've seen the 1977 Italian foreign film, Suspiria, and liked it. Maybe you've seen it, and you didn't like it. Maybe you're just giving information about this film, gonna go watch the movie, and then come back and write something. Whatever the three may be, please tell me in the comment box down below. And as you're doing that, you see that word subscribe? Click it. Subscribe to a movie a day challenge. Now, tomorrow is day number 232, and I'll be watching the 1966 French foreign film, Ou Hazard Balthazar. My name is Frankie. I will be here tomorrow for day number 232, and the 1966 French foreign film, Ou Hazard Balthazar. I will see you tomorrow.